So, Saumiranjan Mohabadra, please take your seat. Thank you, sir. Please. Thank you, ma'am. How are you? I am fine. So, tell us something about yourself. You are interested in shairies. Can yes, you, sir. Please. Can you sing us a shairi or can you... Recite for us. Recite for us. Yes, sir. Why not? Sir, uh, may I allow to talk in Hindi? Yep. Yes, yes. Any yes. language which is... Sir, my favorite sir, Hindi sir is Kumar Vishwas. Oh. Sir, he is one of the sirees. Sir, koi divana kaita hai, koi pagal samasta hai, magar dharti ki pechani ko pas badal samasta hai. Main tujhse dhuru kaisa hoon, tu mujhse dhuru kaisi hai, ye tera dil samasta hai, ya mera dil samasta hai. Wow. Can you, can you give the gist of that in English? Yes, sir. Sir, sir, that uh, koi divana kaita hai, and koi pagal samasta hai. Remember, somebody talks me, a mad fellow, somebody talks me, like, says me that I am obsessed. Magar dharti ko bechani ko bas badal samasta hai. Means what is the need of the earth is only understood by the cloud. Yeah. So that means that's a love poetry. Me tujhse dhuru kaisa hoon, tu mujhse dhuru kaisi hai. How I am detached from you and how you are detached from me is only understood by your heart and my heart. Okay. That is the gist. Very beautiful. So you have been interested in shairis for a long time? Yes, sir. Not for a long time, but uh -huh. last uh, three, four years I have been interested in shairis. Okay. Anything from Rahat Indori? Yes, sir. He is also a good sir. Okay. Fine. Do you know any of us? Yes, sir. Uh, can you recite one? Uh, why not, sir? Please. Sir, he is also a good sir. He, uh, he died last year. He recently died. Yes, sir. He last, died last year in uh, COVID. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Sir, his shairi is... Uh, so, there are many series, but one, one is very recently, uh, sir, very popularized in social media. Like, sir, Sabhi ka khun hai samil iski mitti mein, kisi ka baap ka hindustan thodi na hai. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> wonderful thing of uh, Rahat. Achha, Rahat. Rahat? Rahat Indore. Rahat Indore. 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 He's from Indore. He's from Indore. Achha, achha. So, uh, good. Uh, sir, can I recite anyone or? Yeah. Rahat Indore is? Uh -huh. Am I allowed to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, sir, he, he says, Sir, Faisla jo kuch bhi ho, manjur hona chahiye. Sir, isk ho ya jang ho, bharpur hona chahiye. Okay. Wow. Whatever it is, love and... Uh, wow, that should be, be intense. 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 Deep. Intense with force. Yes, yes. Uh, good. So, that's so nice. Uh, uh, that means you are uh, an intellectual person as well. Uh, you have done your... Uh, TCS, then you were an additional Tasildar. Yes. Um, so you have given up all that so that you can become an Orissa civil service officer. Yes, sir. So where are you in that journey? Sir, uh, I am at the last last part of the journey. Mm -hmm. sir, uh, sir, I believe that uh, this year uh, lock will favor me mm -hmm. and I will be posted, I will be, I will be getting an Odisha administrative service post. Okay. Do you think luck or hard work, which is uh, more important? Sir, uh, hard work is in my hand. Sir, luck is after that. Whether I, if I get, I will say that I am lucky. Somewhere luck favors me. If I don't get, I will say somewhere luck. They say fortune favors the brave. Yes, sir. So, you have been brave and uh, you actually quit a couple of times so that you can pursue yes, your passion. So, yes. we appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, you have been in TCS. What? Uh, part of TCS was uh, you were... Sir, I was an uh, assistant system engineer trainee. So, system engineering means what? So it's programming. So it means programming. system programming. So, see, these days we find it extremely difficult to get Java specialists. Uh, uh, I'm looking out for hundreds of them. I'm getting in the single digits. Why do you think India is producing so less Java developers? Sir, so there is a more focus on service orientation in Indian IT market. Uh -huh. People are, and company are also more service oriented. They don't want programming or programmers. That's why people also find it easier to get a job in the service sector so that they can easily get a job and provide services. For that, we don't need hardcore programming. Uh -huh. For development, we need programming, so which are very, very so, so highly skilled. Well, now we are talking about skill development and all. So yes, why sir. is, uh, I am not finding too much emphasis on these uh, develop, core developers. Uh, why in, why is, is, isn't that an opportunity for India? Yes, sir. That is an, uh, absolutely that is an opportunity for India. Mm. Sir, we are not finding because from the grassroots, sir, it is uh, believed that once you get a computer science degree or an IT degree, mm. you will get it easier. You will get a job at very uh, easy, easy. It, it means... So, what is your solution uh, for this? 
Is there a solution you have found out for uh, this? Yes, sir, absolutely, sir. From the initial days, when you get into an engineering or an IT sector or IT engineering, there should be an academic and industrial linkage. So that uh, we, from the first hand, the, uh, the colleges know that the industry needs developers so that they can focus on development. So this white hat, red hat, sorry, what's it called? Um, Blue uh, color. No, this uh, Jab, Baiju said acquired that company, no? Uh, for coding. Uh, for co uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, this white uh, something. Uh, white hat. White hat, white hat, uh, uh, white hat. Co coders. Yes, from schooling itself. Yes, sir. So, but uh, while, while these companies are doing it, and today you don't need require an engineering degree for coding. Yes, sir. Uh, you're only looking for people who are interested in it. Yes, sir. And I don't see government doing this, uh, any government, for example, state government or central government, saying that we'll have a program which will have this white hat coding uh, pro programs introduced from the school level itself. Yes, sir, government has outsourced this engineering sector to the private uh, private. Completely farms. to the private sector because it's based yes, on sir. demand. Overall, it has outsourced, yeah. but uh, there should be focus of the government on development, programming, service provident, uh, sir, all should be, some, some focus should be from the government. That's why, sir, uh, all India IT services can be a solution. We can go forward in that manner so that we can have government engineers working for the set, uh, networking or security field. We don't need to so much of uh, focus on the private sector so that they can provide us engineers. Okay. Uh, you are a public service, public, uh, public administration student. Yes, sir. So, you are aware about... Uh, Mary Parker Foley. Yes, sir. So, she uh, is a person who spoke about conflict. <coughs> yes, sir. And what did she say about conflict? She said that, sir, conflict is a reality. We should not avoid that. There should not be a feeling that there is no conflict or conflict is a bad thing. That we have to first accept yes, that. We have to first accept that this conflict is inevitable. It will happen, but we have to resolve that. What did she use? Uh, the term she used was? So, conflict resolution. No, constructive conflict. Constru yes, sir. Right? Yes. And um, she gave uh, three uh, solutions for conflict. Yes, sir. So she, she, she talked about there should not be any domination strategy and there should not be any subordination, there should be integration. So he, she majorly talked about integration strategy so that there, can, there will be a win-win solution for all the parties. Do you think integration is possible in a real life situation? Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. It is very much possible. Uh, see, basically, uh, Domination happens, I lose, you win, because yes, that's yes, a win, yes. uh, it's a win-lose. Yes, uh, the other one is subordination, that's you lose and uh, we, we actually postpone our desires. But in an integration, both wins. Yes, sir. But how will both win when there are two opposite angles? Sir, with that for that uh, case, sir, we have to increase the size of the budget or size of the thinking for that matter. If we are competing for the same thing and uh, it is obvious that so some... Basically, you have to increase the size increase of the Increase the size of the pie. Right. Uh, is a, that this public administration, this politics administration dichotomy, you know about it. Yes, All of us sir. know yes, about sir. it. Yes, sir. This was described in 1881 by Wilson Woodrow and then Woodrow Wilson and everybody then. Max Weber, everybody took it forward. Even today, in our system, even though we have adopted <coughs> uh, uh, um, this, uh, what is it called? We are not neutral to... Uh, you know, we want more uh, empathy with the people, etc. Still, there is a politics administration dichotomy, right? Uh, how do you reconcile that with the present day administration? Yes, sir. So, dichotomy, some kind of dichotomy should exist. That politi politicians are not administrator. So, they will make the policies with the help of the administrator. And administrator are the implementer. Politicians are not the implementer, implementer on the ground. So, they will inform the administrator what to do and where is the problem because they know the pulse of the people better. So, in that case, we cannot say that it is a completely divorced or completely dichotomous. Last uh, question. Yes, sir. So, this leads to what is called uh, politicization of bureaucracy, bureaucratization of politics. I mean, yes, there should be what is it called that balance. That balance is not there. Polity, that pol balance of polity is not there anymore. What are the uh, things that we can do to prevent this politicization of bureaucracy and bureaucratization of politics? Yes, sir. It was not there initially, but sir, gradually we have uh, that politicization and uh, bureaucratization of both the things. But for that, uh, there are many reforms can be improved. 
many reforms can be implemented like civil service reforms are there, so political reforms, judicial reforms, police reforms are all no single reform cannot make that happen. All reforms are to be done simultaneously, sir, along with the change of the value system should be Time, changed. Okay, just uh, I would like to connect with sir's uh, this uh, conflict. You are talking about we need to increase the size of the cake, then only win win. But what about our India and China border conflict? In what way we can actually increase that kinds of size of the cake? And every time it is the failure. So, uh, what are the factors? Do you think that uh, because of that, integration or collaboration actually is not happening? I mean, diplomatic relations, sir, integration uh, is difficult. Like in policy matters, integration is quite easy because it is in our hand. Because when other player is, uh, is a part of the diplomatic relation, so there is a group theory in uh, international relation because our move is dependent on yeah. their move. So, we should uh, try to have a shared, shared… What shared. is that theory? Do you know what is the theory? Yes, ma'am. So, we are dependent on their move, we will wait and watch till what they are doing, then we will make our step in our national interest. So, we will not uh, leave any space to them. Okay. Uh, so, Meranjan, though yes. you belong to Katak. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, what is the speciality of Katak? Ma'am, it is… Uh, a hub of silver filigree and horn work and uh, socially it is known for the extreme brotherhood the people of Katak have. It is only for that? Mainly it is known for uh, silver, it is known as silver city. So, does it have a geographical indication? Any geographical yes, sir. Tank? No, no. We, we, we yes, it has. for GI it is. It is there. Okay, GI okay. Is there. Okay. So, is it uh, being marketed internationally, this product? Uh, sir, we are doing that, but not uh, up to the mark. It should be marketed in the e-commerce website or… Okay. What market. actually it is lacking, if we are not able to uh, market at the global level? So, there are two things it lacks. First, the first is extreme government support is lacking. Government is uh, doing, but in only cooperative fields. Government is only forming cooperatives. There is no linkages between the ground level worker and uh, online market. That is not there and the people also do not know that, that there is some, something called uh, silver filigree which is extremely uh, high. Okay, you are one TCS <coughs> employee. So, how actually IT will help you to promote this product? Ma'am, everything today is related to in, uh, information technology because information is knowledge. So, I have that information there that is where it is produced. So, so I in have what the information. Way? In what no, way you can, uh, you know, In promote. two way because yeah. I, I also know that there is a something called e-commerce. We can, whatever is the market is not known to the all world. We can sell that, we can advertise that in the e-commerce website. We can link to the like Flipkart, Magazine, Amazon, Flipkart and other eBay like these kind of things. And we can also propagate the local products and their promotion in social media also. So, that people of different people who are, who are living in different parts of the world at least know there is something called silver filigree which is extremely beautifully and delicately designed in Kotak exist. Once they see that, then the things will start. Okay, so do you think that IT will definitely bring the revolution? Yes, IT is, yes ma'am, IT is bringing the revolution and it will uh, Okay, it will help, but help. Uh, what about the cyber crime? Because of this IT and technology, people you will find in the newspaper lots of, you know, like cyber crimes and that kinds of uh, lots of uh, you know things actually coming up. So, what is your take on it? Ma'am, knowledge gives you power, but it is also said that unfortunately knowledge gives you power. That means you are once, <laughs> once you have equipped with IT, like uh, once you are equipped with engineering or science, you can use it in many ways. We have seen that because the most of the dreaded terrorists are also engineers. So, in that case, IT can be used negatively also. So, every idea is a flip side. We have to deal with it, we have to regulate it, we have to manage it. We cannot say that just because uh, uh, information technology is you know, negatively so used, we will leave that. That's an, Every idea has a flip side, we have to deal with it. Okay, just I am curious to know, you were the additional tahsildar. Yes. It was one waste post. Ma'am, it was an Odisha Revenue Service revenue post. Service. But uh, even if administrative position, Yes. Then why did you leave that job? Yeah, my, uh, Again, time. you were aspiring for this, you know, Odisha administrative. And that was my first attempt. I I got through that in 
2015 फिफ्टीन एंड पोस्टेड इन 2017 थाउजेंड सेवेन्टीन एज एडिशनाल तहसीलदार रणपुर ऑफ नयगढ़ डिस्ट्रिक्ट सर आई आई वाज कमिटेड एंड डिटरमेंड एनफ टू गो फॉर यूपीएससी एंड ओडिशा एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव सर्विस आई डिड नॉट गेट ए गुड रैंक दैट दैट हाउ मेनी टाइम्स यू अटेम्प्टेड सर आई अटेम्प्टेड ओडिशा सिविल सर्विसेज थ्री टाइम्स एंड यूपीएससी फोर टाइम्स यू हैव टू मोर अटेम्प्ट्स राइट No, ma'am. I have uh, no, sir. I have just had an age attempt. Age. Thirty-two. You have crossed. Uh, just, Thir just, just crossed. Okay. Thirty-one, so but uh, thirty-two. I am not eligible. Okay. Can you tell me two learning points? Why did you are not, or why you are not able to attempt? Any learning points from your experience? Because four, I think three times or four times, you mm. face it. Yes. So, what actually you have learned from that your you know attempts? I have learned that there is something called destiny. Mm -hmm. You have to be extremely patient. You have to the failure gives me failure teaches me humiliation. I was extremely determined. Still, I gave my hundred percent. But there is something called destiny which is not in my hand. I could not do much because I have studied for all the three and a half and four years continuously. But still, I am not able to. Okay, able good. To that means still you are hopeful. You are optimistic. Yes, ma'am. I am always optimistic because there is. Life is much beyond uh, these exams. Exactly, so that that should be okay. Only my last question. Okay, so you are working in PCS and additional. So what is the perceptual difference do you find in both the organization? So one organization, ma'am, is only for profit. There is nothing called public in TCS. We go and work for the profit. We earn money, and there is no relation with the public. We don't have to bother about what public thinks and what perception we are making in the public. But in another organization where I worked for, where I worked for one and a half months, this is from the day one, from the day I left, there is always a public perception. What uh, the officer is doing, how he is doing, what is the image is going going on the field, how he is making the image. These are all important. So it is a. Public office, that is that is a private office, which has completely different motto and different principles. But we can learn from each other. No? Yes, sir, absolutely. The What's professionalism. What's the one good thing just from PCS? Ma'am, professionalism and work culture. This is very cordial. Yes, we can bring that to government. Yes, right? yeah, absolutely. government. Yeah. You have written that you have participated in numerous debate competitions during your academic years. Yes, sir. Okay. Which type of competitions? Any state level award you have got? Yes, sir. I have got third prize in uh, our state level ODI debate competition. Huh. What was the subject? So the subject was that uh, democracy means Ghana Bantu at that point of time. And uh, such a subject you could also excel there. You could tell and me I something got, about I, democracy. I, I got third prize. Only. Okay, third is not uh, bad in the state level yeah, competition yeah, also. It is okay. It holds. That means you have got thorough understanding of democracy. You have got thorough understanding of democracy, and you could the panel members must be very. Why, uh, uh, wise people, so they know on this subject. I wanted to listen to you from something about democracy. An excerpt from your speech on democracy. Hmm. So, democracy is a rule of people. So, crazy means rule, demos means public. So it is absolutely the rule of the people. There can be different ways. It may be direct rule or indirect rule. So we in India have an indirect rule. We don't have a direct democracy. We we select our we elect our representatives who rule on the behalf of the people. So what is that theory called? Pardon? You are so the concept of it. Concept uh, in, in social uh, in sociology. In sociology we use it. That whatever you said is. Re sir, it is referendum. No, no, no. no. Referendum we are going for anything in India? No, sir. We, we don't, we don't have direct democracy. But uh, uh, indirect democracy, you told indirectly people are elected. You even use that word. What do you call that democracy as? Representative, representative, representative democracy. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. It's an indirect democracy. But we want to move towards participatory democracy. Yes. Oh, yes, sir. Isn't sure. it? Yes, sir. We want people's participation yes. and citizen-centric uh, administration. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Narrate further. Sir. Narrate further. Democracy. So yes, sir. We we have uh, indirect democracy in our country. We elect our leaders who who takes decision on behalf of the people. Sir, uh, that is held by an administration. Administration is selected. It is not elected. It is helping in promoting democracy by doing development in our country. That is means uh, democracy. Uh, de development. Uh, is no, in, uh, see, this is theory. Yes, sir. What is democracy? We are talking about. I want that whether democracy is effective in our country. Yes, sir. 
it is effective yes, how does that you narrate because after world war 2 if you see there are many countries who have adopted democracy but still is still even is communist even the jinping all these people they say they are democratic number one democratic people so it is one thing to say it is one thing to realize how is so that communism is not democracy, democracy but they are not democracy communism is not democracy no sir communism. it is not democracy how do you differentiate that communism is not democracy and ours is a democracy so because you have a rule of people if they are they are also it is a group they are also elected bodies if communism is there it is by the people people have selected them so what is the essence of uh, democracy it's the rule of law rule of law yes. isn't it yes. that is uh, actually what so said joseph stalin says that we are more a democracy than what you people in capitalist country call because in a communist state a person goes to sleep without the fear that tomorrow he will get a bread or not he will be getting if at all he is not getting his neighbor also won't get Okay. So it will be distributed equally, equally to all. Yes, so we concentrate on economic democracy, which is the most important part of democracy. But you people simply talk about political democracy and that to electoral democracy. Mm -hmm. Other than that, nothing you do. So, so if that we equate, we can say that communist countries have better democracy than us. Sir, sir, it's a wrong assumption that we are only focusing on political democracy. Sir, we are also okay. focusing on socio-economic democracy by directive principle of state, state policy. That talks about social and economic. Social and directive economic principles economy. of state policy says about right to work, Article Forty One. We have right to education and fundamental right, but right to work we have not made it fundamental right. What is the use of having right to education and the without? Which is not justiciable. And which you know. That is not justiciable. Nobody, no state in India has right to work. So there has to be a balance. We cannot go. It's a like a continuum. How much democratic or how much communist you are? It's not like an uh, two poles. So should we also be communist? No, sir. We are socialist. So okay. We are socialist. We are not communist. Okay. Okay. Fine. So we have a mixed economy also. Interest. You can ask. Okay. This one you made one statement actually. All India IT service should be there. Yes, sir. And also you said uh, the good what you take from TCS is that professionalism and other things. Yes, sir. the biggest problem today any government service or anything you see if you ask a common people they would be saying no professionalism you see they will not be at a time they will get up and go and even they will not come on time but uh, private it is a hire and fire is there so people strictly work there mm. and here the work gets done these people act like that hakim babu culture is there so you want to create an it also a all india service Wherever you want to put in the bad impacts of uh, this one, even that uh, private field will also go down now. Okay, then uh, what are you going to achieve? By, uh, already everything is well. like uh, Agni Path. They are now planning for Niti Path. Judiciary. Uh, yeah, they are planning actually, like to have a contractual type. Lateral entries are increasing now. Mm -hmm. So you want all India IT service means then uh, will it not be anti-professionalistic? No sir, sir. Uh, being a student of public administration, sir, I, I have learned that what we can learn from the pop, uh, private sector is more competitiveness, more professionalism, more how to be service oriented, how to be more citizen centric, how to be customer oriented. So these things we can borrow from the private administration uh, without borrowing their motive of profit. So these things we can always learn. Okay. Then if so we government should not have any profit motive. So in a socialistic country, for that uh, we have a mixed economy. The private sector. should go for the profit the government should take care of the public first so the private sector government should also regulate that there should not be any environmental impact of the private sector there should not be any uh, injustice to the people it should not it's not like that private sector are uh, doing work for the masses there there is a chance that they will always go for the classes in that field government also have to regulate you cannot say that government should sit as a mute spectator and private party are doing their own So in that case, then the Sahara scam like things will happen. Okay. <laughs> What was Sahara scam? So that was a convertible bond uh, provided to the people. People did not understand that what was the bond, the technicalities. They invested it, and after that, they know that uh, the bond is non-convertible, and uh, their money is gone. Who is the leader in Sahara? Sir Subrata Roy. Fine then. Uh. Nice, uh, this one just a minute, huh? Few things actually. Okay, sociology and public administration you have taken. Only one thing that is puzzling me is that really uh, that uh, just a month you stayed as uh, additional thousand dollars. Just a month. Yes, sir. What was it that in a salary actually? At least in uh, as a TCS officer, two years you have stayed. Yes, sir. 
Yes. You can say that I didn't like that there or I wanted a better one. One month what you have learned here that you just throw it, threw it off and went. You say I was determined to go for the higher aims. I, I did not say Why did you join that? You could have given a chance to someone else, no? They could have joined. So what I understand is that you are a person who is very choosy, you want to live a life like a poem, you want to live your lead your life. Sir, I at that point of time I had attempts and age. So I think so why not to use that uh, in a fullest manner. Right. I, you I could have extreme. taken the sabbatical leave. Sir, yeah, at that, that, at uh, that point of time uh, I was confused between what to do and I did not do justice to my study or nor my job. I was determined to clear uh, civil service either OS or UPSC. In that spur of moment, I took a decision. I convinced my family that I would leave. So that time you believed in your hard work. Yes. Then when things didn't work out, now you believe in destiny. No, Are sir, you no, married? No, no, ma'am. I, I always believe in the hard work. Destiny is what after coming. I, after in hindsight, I said call, I will call that. Then, then there is no destiny. But when doing, I don't know what is destiny. Okay. No, ma'am. I'm not. Ma Chris. Okay. You love cricket. Yes, sir. You play cricket. I used to play cricket, but now from last five six years I have not played. But you you regularly watch cricket. Not not regularly, but sometimes I okay. watch. Okay. Can you differentiate uh, twenty twenty cricket and test cricket? The twenty twenty cricket is a twenty over cricket match. It's a just a three hours game. Mm. Uh, you don't have to have patience. A test match is the real test. Test means you have to mm. physically fit, mentally fit. But in a 2020, that so in 2020, there is no mental fitness not, not and in, physical fitness. This is all required, but not uh, as comparison to the test match because it is a five days test. Okay. One day, if you are ill, you will not perform. Your team will uh, suffer. But in 2020, it is a three hour game. Okay. Uh, is Chester Bernard relevant if we appoint you as OAS? Is Chester Bernard relevant for you? Yes, sir, everything is relevant. He has a, he how? Was, he how was Chester a, Bernard? He was a because I am particularly he, asking. How? He was a pioneer of uh, uh, behavioralism. So he talked about uh, how to have uh, uh, inducement and contribution. Because you have, if your uh, organization is providing more inducement, you will be contributing more. So that means from organization. So, what did he call that? Satisfaction, sat yes, contribution, sir. satisfaction, satisfaction continuum. Equilibrium. 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 Okay. So is, it, is that relevant in government? Yes, sir, that is relevant. Government gives only salary. There is no specific inducements or uh, whatever. So that is why the government service is service. It is not a job. So you have to be service oriented. You have to. You, the satisfaction is inbuilt. You cannot say that you are doing a private service. It is a private job. The satisfaction is only counted on salary. Well, government is collecting service tax now. <laughs> <laughs> we get more tax from. Through service tax only. Well, service means we should not collect even tax. Right? It should be service, that's all. So how, how would the government run? If yeah, not that's what I am saying, then where is service? <laughs> No, sir, I am telling that service is, it should be, the satisfaction <laughs> is service. The providing service is satisfaction. Yes. Mother Teresa will get more satisfaction, no then? Yes, sir, pardon? Then Mother Teresa would get more satisfaction, full but service. Yes, sir. No. See, 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 no. Why no, government service? How to live? <laughs> so how to leave? <laughs> Where will you get money? <laughs> okay, um, 95 years ago, temple entry movement was started. Can you throw some light? Is there any issue with respect to such in Odisha? Temple entry movement, sir, I know. It was started in uh, southern India. But in Odisha context, sir, I only know that... Uh, because the Odisha is a... Bhuvaneshwar is the city of temples. So, see, Hare Krishna Mahatav started uh, the movement and uh, not the movement, he supported the movement and he opened uh, his ancestral house to the people of her, uh, people of his uh, uh, village. And that means untouchable peoples can go to his ancestral house. So, that is the only thing I know about. Okay. Recently, there is a pact signed by the uh, Quad com, uh, countries. Uh, what is significance to India? Sir, India is a member of Quad. It, form, it consists of uh, India, USA, Australia and Japan. Sir, it talks about uh, security. Sir, we have been saying that we are a net security provider in the Indian Ocean and uh, Indo-Pacific uh, region. Sir, USA has also described uh, the uh, Indian and Pacific Ocean region uh, by Indo-Pacific. That means it is, giving, it is providing focus on focus to India. 
that on that basis quad is also a directly uh, on the it, it is uh, giving a message to the china because china and russia they are also inclined so they are, we are we have a hostile neighbor called pakistan so that to hype at these things we have to have balance you know other uh, to by combining other countries like uh, usa japan and australia that's why we are forming the coalition but we are, we are following the as we are following the non alignment we are not aligned to any country we are now multi aligned that's why we have formation of quad we are focusing on beam stake uh, we are focusing on uh, sark we are also focusing on sark that's why we are now multi aligned country okay my final question to you is it we are appointing you as additional tahsildar in this attempt okay. will you accept or you will resign and go <laughs> no sir i will accept happily will accept happily yes sir why so because so, i sun shade you already left in 35 days now again same position you get you are accepting yes i have had my attempts i have given my everything now it is destiny i, I have no nothing to do i have completely i have i have prepared with my full satisfaction i have given attempts that's why sir i will not deny to join any post in any post okay okay good uh, you are an outstanding candidate uh, thank you